the best accessible supplement for athletic performance is creatine. Despite the benefits of creatine supported by science, some people avoid it out of concern for their health. As just mentioned, the best accessible supplement for athletic performance is creatine. But some people still don't trust it for various reasons. Some report it results in gaining weight, cramping, problems with the liver, kidneys and the digestive system. However, a huge number of research back up its security and efficiency. An analysis of the risks and benefits of creatine based on research will be discussed in this video. Depending on who you ask, the potential negative effects of creatine may include the following. Damage to the kidney, damage to the liver, bloating, dehydration, muscle cramps, digestive issues, compartment syndrome, and rhabdomyolysis. Many people are misinformed about creatine. A large portion of people think that creatine is an anabolic steroid, it shouldn't be taken by women or teenagers, and that it should only be used by bodybuilders or professional athletes. Although creatine has received some unfavorable attention, the International Society of Sports Nutrition believes it to be one of the safest and most effective sports supplements. After individuals took creatine supplements for 21 months, one study looked at 69 health indicators. Nothing negative was discovered. Other conditions and health issues that have been treated with creatine include diabetes, concussions, neuromuscular problems and muscle loss. According to research, using creatine pills or creatine powder every day for a number of years is safe. When people use large dosages of creatine, let's say 30 grams per day, for up to 5 years, there is no evidence to indicate that any adverse effects that would be considerably harmful. In fact, studies on athletes who consumed regular supplements of creatine for extended periods of time have found that they had improved their health actually. Your body contains creatine, which are muscles holding 95% of it. It can be derived from meat and fish, and it can also be made by your body spontaneously from amino acids. The amount of creatine stored in your muscles is normally limited by your diet and natural creatine levels. The usual storage in a person who weighs let's say 154 pounds are about 120 mole per kilogram. However, creatine supplements can increase these levels to about 160 mole per kilogram. Your muscles can produce more energy while engaging in high intensity activity thanks to the stored creatine. This is the primary mechanism by which creatine improves exercise performance. Any excess creatine is converted into creatinine after the reserves in your muscles are full and then your liver metabolizes it and releases the creatinine into the urine. Your body's water reserves are altered by creatine, which causes your muscle cells to absorb more water. The idea that creatine induces dehydration may be supported by this fact. There is little evidence to back up the allegations of dehydration, despite the small change in cellular water content. In a three-year study of college athletes, those who took creatine saw fewer instances of dehydration, cramping or muscle problems. Due to illness or injury, they also missed less sessions. Using creatine while exercising in hot conditions, which can hasten cramping and dehydration, was the subject of one study. Creatine exhibited no negative effects on cyclists when compared to a placebo during a 35 minute riding workout at 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Further analysis using blood tests 
also revealed no differences in the hydration or electrolyte levels, which are crucial in the development of muscle cramps. Research on patients receiving hemodialysis, a medical procedure that could result in cramping, has proven to be the most conclusive. Researchers discovered a 60% decrease in cramping in the creatine taking group. According to the available data, creatine does not lead to dehydration or cramps. If anything, it might defend against these circumstances. Creatine have been shown to rapidly increase body weight in numerous studies. In a research of Harvard University, individuals' body weight rose by about 2 to 6 pounds after a week of high dosage loading of creatine supplementation. Long-term research indicates that persons who use creatine may experience a larger rate of weight gain than those who don't. Increased muscle growth, not an increase in body fat, is what has caused this weight gain. Besides bodybuilders, having more muscle may be advantageous for older people, obese people and people with certain health conditions. The amount of creatinine in your blood can slightly increase due to creatine. The measurement of creatinine is frequently used to identify renal or liver disorders. Although creatine increases creatinine levels, this does not necessarily suggest that it is damaging to your liver or kidneys. There is currently no research showing that these organs are harmed by taking creatine in healthy people. College players were subjected to a lengthy research and no liver or kidney negative effects were discovered. Other studies that measured biological markers in urine after creatine consumption revealed no difference. Similar results of one of the longest trials to date, which lasted for 4 years, were reached about the safety of creatine. A male weightlifter who took creatine supplements was found to have renal illness according to a well-known study that is frequently quoted in the media. However, there is inadequate support from this one case study. There were also a lot of other things going on, including extra vitamins. In light of this, use caution when taking creatine supplements if you have a history of liver or kidney issues. Choosing whether or not to take creatine can be guided by a doctor. Overdosing on vitamins or pharmaceuticals can have negative effects on the digestive system. In a trial conducted in 2008, a 5 gram dose to be taken twice a day resulted in diarrhea in 29% of participants, which was not statistically different from the placebo. However, a 10 gram dose given once daily raised the risk of diarrhea by 56%. The suggested serving size is therefore set at 2 to 5 grams per day. Also divided into 4 portions of 5 grams each throughout the day is the 20 gram loading procedure. Despite complaints from anecdotal sources, there is no proof that taking creatine at the prescribed dosages causes stomach issues. It's possible that impurities, chemicals or substances produced during the commercial production of creatine could cause problems. Therefore, it is advised that you buy a reputable, high-quality item like Thorn Creatine or Clean Athlete Clean Creatine. No proof exists that creatine promotes acne. Your capacity to work out longer and harder may be improved with creatine, which will cause you to perspire more. Despite the fact that sweating can cause acne, creatine itself does not. According to some research, using creatine topically can actually assist your skin by reducing damage, aging and wrinkles.
if you take any drugs that impact liver or renal function, you might want to stay away from creatine supplements. Before beginning supplementation, consult your doctor because creatine and other drugs may interact. If you use medicine that is known to alter blood sugar, you should talk to your doctor before using creatine as it can help you better manage your blood sugar levels. If you have a serious ailment like cancer or heart disease, are pregnant, are breastfeeding or are in any of these situations, you should also seek medical advice. Some people claim that taking creatine can increase the risk of developing compartment syndrome, a disorder that happens when there is an abnormally high buildup of pressure in a constricted area, commonly within the arm or leg muscles. In spite of the fact that one study discovered higher muscular pressure after two hours of heat training, this was primarily due to heat and exercise induced dehydration rather than creatine. Researchers came to the conclusion that the pressure was negligible and transient. According to some, using creatine supplements raises your chance of rhabdomyolysis, a disorder when your muscles break down and release proteins into your circulation, but there is no evidence to back up this claim. The misconception began as a result of an increase in the blood marker creatine kinase caused by creatine supplementation. Contrasted with the high levels of creatine kinase linked to rhabdomyolysis, this modest increase is considerably distinct. It's interesting to note that some professionals even assert creatine may defend against this ailment. Another misconception is that some people confuse the substance creatine with anabolic steroids. Having no connection to steroids, creatine is a perfectly natural and legal chemical that is found in foods like meat and in your body. Another myth is that creatine is exclusively appropriate for male athletes. However, there is no evidence to support the claim that is unsafe at the recommended levels for women or older persons. Creatine has been administered to kids as a medical intervention, unlike most supplements, for a variety of ailments such as neuromuscular problems or muscle loss. Children taking creatine have not shown any adverse effects according to studies that lasted up to 3 years. So there you have it, all the information you need before starting to take creatine. If you already started to take creatine, please share your experience down in the comments below so that other people can learn from your experience. Other than that, please share the video, smash the like button and subscribe for more videos. Until the next one.